rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I believe I'm also joined uh, by a friend and also a brother who's been uh, sponsoring some of our activities, Brother Rizwan. He's somewhere within the audience from the Euro Quality Foundation. So jazakallah to Brother Rizwan as well. Um, so today what I'm going to uh, take you through is a quick stop tour uh, of what is available for home learning. I understand it can really be overwhelming with uh, so much out there at the moment uh, that you know people might actually struggle to understand what they should do. Um, but what we want to paint a picture of what, what, where we are at the moment. Uh, with Muslim schools, uh, the organization that we represent, uh, we have we have a situation at the moment that a large portion of our schools uh, are actually having to furlough their staff, um, which does mean that you know our students are in a similar situation to other homeschooling where the parents are having to take bulk of the responsibility of uh, teaching their children. Um, so what we're going to do today is that we're going to point towards some high quality resources, including something that has come up as early as uh, yesterday uh, that you can use uh, for home educating your children and also what the Association of Muslim School is doing uh, in terms of uh, creating a good homeschooling infrastructure uh, while of course the schools are shut and as I said many of the schools were far of their staff. We're also concerned about the Islamic studies and the Quran and the Hifkas, the Islamic studies um, and the Islamic studies that our schools used to do. Uh, I understand some of our partners, Alhamdulillah, like Anasiya Foundation and UK Hufaz and people are doing quite a bit, but we are also looking at uh, creating partnerships with them uh, for the sake of our students. Um, so uh, what uh, there are basically four different products that I'm going to talk about today. Uh, first of all is going to be uh, Century uh, Education, who is going to be talking about how AI-based learning can be incorporated uh, to make sure that the children have an engaging and interactive learning platform. We are all aware of other products, the likes of Twinkle, who came very early on in the market, but the problem is, of course, the interactivity of it. There is some other platforms similar to that, but we have felt that Century has got a lot more offer and also as a partnership with the association, it has opened itself up for the entire period of COVID rather than sort of extending uh, at a time or just offering for a month, it is going to offer uh, the AI-based learning for homework, for the English, maths and science for the entire period of COVID, however long uh, the school closures are. Also joining me today uh, will be Brother Wakar from the Chiltern Learning Trust, who's gonna be talking about the new e-learning platform that the Association of Muslim School is launching uh, alongside the Chiltern Learning Trust, one of the most successful academy chains in the country now, uh, having turned around multiple schools. Uh, their portfolio now extends beyond 10 state-funded schools in Luton and surrounding areas. I'm gonna talk about the BBC, which many of you would have heard already, uh, bite size, and I'm pleased to say that uh, some of our uh, Muslim state-funded schools uh, their teachers are now going to be delivering lessons uh, via BBC Bite Size. And also talk about the new government initiative, which is very, very recent, kicking off tomorrow, called the National Academy. And finally, point you towards uh, resources to teach online that the Department for Education has compiled together. So moving on from there, um, on BBC Bite Size, you will see, here's a, here's a screenshot. So we've got, for example, uh, the example of primary at the top and secondary at the bottom. So every single day, they have at least two, two recording lessons, so these are three recording lessons with some resources that they're going to offer um, for those subjects. For example, on a Monday, uh, you know, if your child is in a primary, uh, they can do maths and history. Tuesday, they could do English and geography. Similarly, for secondary, they could do three subjects. So they could do math, English, and history. And on a Tuesday, they could do English, biology, and geography. These are all pre-recorded sessions by uh, outstanding teachers, including, alhamdulillah, Muslim school teachers. So we can see our teachers are of high, very high quality that even BBC is now hiring them for their services. The next important initiative, and please do note this website because uh, if you Google up, you might not find it. Um, and you will see, it, it's not .co.uk, not .org, not .com, but it's .academy. 
this is where most likely many families will hear this in the news but will not find it. It's purely because it's dot academy. So it is the national and the dot academy. So what is this? This is basically um, a weekly lesson schedule for all year groups starting from all years of primary and all years of secondary. And this will provide generic lessons. The likes of, I've taken up this uh, upcoming week schedule. For example, for year seven English, you've got introduction to Greek myths. Uh, you've got about Pandora's box, algebra, in maths, you've got algebra. Mm -hmm. in, in biology, you're gonna learn about ecology. In chemistry, you're gonna learn about chemical reaction. These are pretty generic lessons, again, pre-recorded and with accompanying resources uh, that the young people can use. So once more, the website, the national dot academy. This is the Department for Education's official or semi-official website now to offer teaching to young people who are at home, but pre-recorded lessons and not necessarily customized lessons, but they're quite broad. Um, going back to the Department for Education itself, if you go to COVID-19 list of online education resources, on the left-hand side, you'll find a list of subjects, for example, English, uh, primary, secondary, math, primary, secondary, and various other subjects, and each of those will offer you some online resources that you can use to teach your children uh, at home. Now, I want to hand over to my colleague from Century, and I can't stress enough how, how good this is going to be uh, mm -hmm. between now COVID and beyond COVID, and the association is partnering up with them to offer this at this moment in time entirely free for all Muslim schools and all members of the Muslim Hi, good morning. I hope, I hope you can all hear me all nice and clearly. So my name's Tom, I'm the head of schools at Century. Ashley, thank you for the introduction. So what you're seeing here is a, a screenshot of the platform. So we are an AI powered learning platform for English, for maths and for science from year three all the way up to year 11. And as Ashley was saying, it's all about having interactive resources. So this is available to schools. We've had lots of schools from the Muslim school groups already coming on board. Is also available directly to um, children and their parents. We cover year three up to year 11 for English, maths and science. Each student has their own recommended path where it's finding their gaps in their knowledge. So kind of the examples you saw there, some brilliant work coming from the BBC and the National Academy is the same for each child. And that's what they're having to do with the technology they've got access to. What we're offering here, we have over 5,000 lessons which have video content, self-marking quizzes, but the platform is gonna to recommend to the child based on their age, and using some diagnostic assessments, um, what they should be studying. And Ashley, can you then go to the next slide? So here you can see some examples of the content. We have slides, we have videos, and we have interactive self-marking quizzes. So please, all, all I'm asking is that you share this with any schools that you know. You can go on our website, as you can see the details there, they can fill in the box and we'll get in, in, in contact. If you are a parent, you can go on our website, you can press the button and you can automatically create an account for your children. If they're aged between um, year three to year 11, they can get straight on and they can study English, maths um, and science. We're running webinars every week for schools and every week for parents to understand more. Again, all of that on our website. If any direct questions, you can email us at info at century.tech. Thank you, Tom. And I want to bring uh, in now uh, Brother Wakar Malik, our partner for e-learning. This is going to be customized e-learning. Uh, this is not going to be a generic one, which the Association of Muslim Schools is pleased to say we're going to open up to the entire Muslim community of the UK, funded by our partners, the Eurogroup. Um, can I get Brother Wakar Malik to now come in, please? Assalamu alaikum everybody and Zakallah for joining us today. So what I want to discuss is this e-learning platform that in partnership with AMS we have put together. This um, online platform, it will take place via Google Classrooms and it will need a simple Gmail login. Now once your child has created the Gmail account, they will be given a code. So as you can see here, it says class code um, VIB. Your child will be given a similar code depending upon the year group. So if your child is in year 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 3, 4, 5, 6, they'll be given a specific code for their specific year group. Now, once they enter their classroom, in that one classroom, 
they will find lessons every single week for all the key subjects. So English, math, science, history, geography, and so on. Each subject area will be managed by a subject specialist. So I will be taking care of English. I have people take care of maths and science and so on. On a weekly basis, they will upload loads of lessons and resources. This could take place via PowerPoint, worksheets, videos, audios. Um, there's a plethora of resources that will be uploaded on a weekly schedule. Rather than putting everything in one go, on a weekly basis, your child will have some kind of understanding of how many hours to dedicate to each subject given every given week. Now, <clears throat> if, they, if they look in that area, they will also have the ability to submit their work for the teacher to have a look at. So all the work that they do can be done by Google Docs. Um, if it's a child, whether it's a student, however you want to um, give it to them, they can do it via Google Docs and they can share this file with the teacher who is managing the area for quick and easy feedback. Uh, this, inshallah, should be launching by next week, so the end of April, and then it will run every single week with fresh resources, lessons, and it's almost trying to mimic the school experience as much as possible. So, for example, there will be four hours worth of English because approximately that's the amount of hours of English a student would be having in school. And what is really important is I'm almost aiming for the students not to skip a beat. So the same experience they were getting in schools. So if your child is in year 10, then they are preparing for their GCSEs next year. So the lessons are very focused on that particular year group. So if they're doing Macbeth or Romeo and Juliet, then you will find lessons and resources tailored for that particular age group. And that will be applied from year three up until year 11. Um, if you have any questions, please drop them in the chat. Um, I'll hand it now back over to Ashfaq and Jazakallah for listening. Um, how do you sign up? Uh, please note those two email addresses. You can either email Brother Wakar, who is going to be managing this. And I'm also going to add that they're going to use specialist leaders of education. So not going to be average teachers. They're going to be top-notch teachers within the entire academy chain. They will choose the best teachers to deliver those subjects. You've got those two email addresses, Brother Wakar of mine. If you contact us, either a Muslim school or a Muslim parent, uh, we are happy to uh, you know, open this up to everybody. Um, and Jazakallah, especially to our sponsor, Brother Rizwan, I think is somewhere there uh, from the Eurogroup. Uh, finally, uh, we also have um, a expert uh, training for Muslim teachers as well as the Muslim leaders, uh, which encompasses all sorts, uh, starting from you know crisis management to various aspects of teaching and learning. We've also partnered up with Chiltern. There's more than 35 sessions. The likes of Dame uh, Alison Peacock, Chair of the uh, Chartered Institute of Teaching to Sir David Carter, to Brother Asif. Many of you might know him. Uh, he is one of the most um, diverse uh, sort of Muslim uh, consultants at the moment. Uh, we'll, th these sessions are entirely free and it's available for the entire community to benefit from. Jazakallah khair. I finish here.